Be like, damn, slow down. An AC a cleaner just to her crown. She been knocked down, but she never stayed down. She been living life like it's her playground. And they be like, damn, slow down. They can catch us, she be moving too fast. Hey everyone, welcome back to Always Talking with Audrey. Jumping into today's video, we are going to be giving an update in regards to Danielle Hoyle and Kennedy Hoyle. As you guys know, Danielle and Kennedy were taken from us February 1st at by the hands of Brandon Isabel, which was Danielle Hoyle's child's father and Kennedy Hoyle's father. Now, just to give you guys a brief update in regards to Kennedy Hoyle, she still has not been found. It is alleged by Brandon that he did toss the two-year-old baby in the Mississippi River. There has been a lot of inclement weather and then, you know, the, the river is very, very deep and long. So unfortunately, they did have to pause the search for baby Kennedy Hoyle and it is very heartbreaking to even think about. This past weekend was the homegoing service for both Danielle and Kennedy. And unfortunately, because Kennedy's body has not been found, there was no casket for her. So what the family did was they had a teddy bear with a beating heart that joined Danielle Hoyle in the casket. Danielle Hoyle and Kendi Hoyle's ceremony was in Danielle's favorite color, red. Everyone dressed in the color as well, and she was surrounded by lots and lots of red roses. Her best friend spoke at the homegoing celebration. There was a beautiful hymn that was sung, and even in the obituary, there was a poem that read, Why Daddy Why? And in the initials, it was Kendi Hoyle, and it says, Keep in mind, I was only two days old. Didn't even make it to one week. Not old enough to defend myself, not old enough to even speak. Even if you didn't want me or my mommy, we didn't deserve to die. You shot my mommy and threw me in the river. How could you, Daddy? Why? Of all things you could have done, you could have gone your own way. Our lives meant something to those who loved us, yet you ended our lives that day. Very, very, very hard to even read and even think about. Now, their homegoing service was beautiful. Danielle and Kendi was carried in a carriage like the true princesses that they were, and her casket was in a bright, vibrant red color. We can only imagine that the pain that everyone is going through are going, you know, going through in this area, especially the family. The daughter of Danielle that is nine years old was sitting right next to her mother in the homegoing celebration. Danielle's sister also made a Facebook status the day of the homegoing celebration and just stated to keep the father and keep Danielle's father in um, love and light as well because he's having a hard time. So many people had so many positive things to say about Danielle and how much they even were so excited to meet baby Kennedy. I wanted to do this video and give you guys an update because I know in the midst of all the drama we forget that there are grieving people and like I told you guys before their lives mattered their stories mattered and it is only right that we cover this story and give them the peace that they deserve. We are going to continue to uplift Danielle's mother and other daughter as well as her best friends and family and um, if you guys have anyone that may be affected by this please know that there are people that are thinking about you and wishing you well and peace so without further ado please go ahead and like this video and subscribe on your way out